Hi guys and welcome to this really exciting update to the Jam Origin MIDI Guitar 3 Evolution story. In its latest version, it's still in beta, it's 3051. You can find it on the beta page of course, link in the description. Jam Origin has endowed MIDI Guitar 3 with support for hexaphonic pickups as input for its audio to MIDI conversion. And that means that you can use any of your old a hexaphonic pickup equipped guitars if you want to as long as you have some sort of device that can deliver these six channels of audio over USB to the MIDI Guitar 3 software. I use uh, the GP10 for this and I'll show you what it looks like in this short video. Now I just want to show you how to switch between uh, your traditional audio interface and the other interface. So the only thing we're using the Roland stuff for now is to be able to funnel these six channels of audio that we get from the hexaphonic pickup via the USB into the computer. And we're not interested still in the Roland MIDI side at all. We're interested in just getting these six channels of audio in. So I have a hexaphonic pickup here. I also have a traditional magnetic pickup here. So here I'm obviously using my traditional input for this. So this is the quarter inch jack for the traditional magnetic pickups. Simple patch with two instruments on it with the magnetic pickup. Let's move on to how to switch to the hexaphonic pickup in the interface. Settings, obviously. Select tracker. And here you have these new additions. You have the traditional MIDI Guitar 3. You have the MIDI Guitar 3 hexaphonic tracker. You have MIDI Bass 3 and you have MIDI Cello Violin 3 as well. All of these require their own licenses, of course. I'm going to choose the MIDI Guitar 3 hex tracker now. Now you see that the interface changed here. It says no hex input right now. So I must go in again and look at the audio interface and I know that at the bottom here I have the GP10 and I also need to change to the channel 1 to 8 hex pickups alternative. So I'm just using GP10 and the channel 1 to 8 for hex pickups. Apply. I'll remove this. This is the 13 pin cable that connects to the GP10 right now. And it sort of plays right away. The only thing I need to do setting wise is to go into the GP10 and see to that I have a, some sort of reasonable settings for the different levels for the pickups. But I guess you've done that already since you've used this with other gear. So you can double check if you want to for E4 would be the high E string. You can go to your patches and look at this. You have the MIDI guitar hex mini. This is just a basic patch if you want to send to any door, if you want to work in standalone. Now I have just the MIDI guitar 3 hex tracker here one chain with a dynamics module and it's going to the MIDI output directly and that is picked up by whatever I choose. This is sending to MIDI guitar out so if I'm going to use this together with Logic I would look for something like MIDI guitar out for my MIDI input to Logic. The thing you can look at for string separation for instance, let's have it on one row so you'll see, you can also follow the strings being played right up here. And one interesting part, you can actually filter out strings here. So if I just want some synth for my A string, for instance, I'll click the other ones and the only, th the only thing I'll get for now is my A string. So I can have some synth for my A string, for instance. 
So now I have this B3 on my A string and I can do something similar to this, but I'm using the D string instead. So I guess you get the point. You can combine these in different ways, of course, but the string separation filter is a really interesting addition to MIDI Guitar 3 with this hex pickup tracker idea as well. The only thing I want to show you here is how easy it is to go between inputs connected. So I have a 13 pin and I have the quarter inch cable connected as well. This is what it says when I'm using the GP10 but still haven't told MIDI Guitar 3 what tracker I'm using. So I must go in and click MIDI Guitar 3 hex tracker here. So. And now I'm going to change to the other tracker to begin with. So this is the traditional MIDI Guitar 3 tracker. And of course I need to change the audio interface as well. So I'm going from the GP10 to my traditional Scarlett 2 in 4 out and the channel 1 that I know that I have my guitar on apply. And now I'm playing via the traditional quarter inch guitar cable instead. And that's how easy it is to go between if you have both of these connected. So I have my GP10 connected via USB all the time and I have my traditional audio interface connected at all times. So I don't have to physically go and switch between those. Those are connected. But I'm doing the fast switching between these inputs in the MIDI Guitar 3 software. I will do something like a, a more detailed deep dive into this, of course, in the coming days. But this is for you to have somewhere to begin. Till then, bye. <laughs>